Some breaking news tonight. Right now, water is spewing out of the city of Griffin's water tower. And city officials say they have to wait until one million gallons all drains out. Our Teresa Bowles is joining us live in Griffin tonight. And Teresa, what are city officials saying about what's going on here? Well, Jennifer, it may be difficult to tell in the dark, but that thing is still going and it's been leaking for almost nine hours. And right now, no one seems to know why. First, a boom, an explosion type boom. And we were all like, what in the heck? And then you're standing out there and you hear the bolts fall in. Then this. One million gallons of water starts bursting through Griffin's water tower. Jessica Hammond watched it all in terror. I've never heard of this happening, ever. The only thing in your mind is what if this thing collapses? Hammond and Sarah Faulkner both work inside the old Coca-Cola building in Griffin, right in front of the tower. Employees were told to evacuate the building. It was pretty chaotic watching everybody go in and out of the building, trying to gather all their things. First responders showed up shortly after. City of Griffin officials now scratching their heads as they try to figure out what went wrong. We don't know what happened and um, we can't tell at this point. And I have talked with several people that have worked here for decades and they've never had anything like this happen either. City manager Jessica O'Connor said the tower has maintenance every two years and it's always done on time. It was due again in a few months. When asked if this tower could topple over. We don't think so at this point. We feel like if it were going to, it would have already occurred. To the residents, O'Connor says there are no immediate safety concerns. Water is safe to drink, safe to use, and we haven't had to turn anybody off either. O'Connor says this won't affect water bills. She also expects businesses to reopen soon. So as the city waits for the tower to drain, the people around it wait for answers the city can't give them yet. We just kept asking, will we be able to come back to work tomorrow? Like, how long will this take? And it's like they didn't even know. O'Connor says crews will be back first thing tomorrow morning to check out this tower, and hopefully we'll have some more answers then. Teresa, certainly a crazy situation out there in Griffin tonight. Hopefully they get it resolved soon.